this dunya and in fact unfortunately this love of dunya is what made what caused the imprisonment of the Imam Salamullah Alayhi Harun al-Rashid the Khalifa Harun al-Rashid the Khalifa he had a son Muhammad al-Amin you know who became the Khalifa after him and of course he had Abdullah al-Ma'mun he gave the Khilafah, he assigned that Muhammad al-Amin will become the Khalifa. خلاص. Because his mother was from Bani Hashim. She was the daughter of Abu Ja'far al-Mansur, or the granddaughter of Abu Ja'far al-Mansur. So the cousin of Harun, they were cousins. So Muhammad al-Amin will become the Khalifa. Muhammad al-Amin was raised, was taken care of by a man called Ja'far. Okay, Ja'far. Harun, during his time, there were some ministers who became very powerful. The last name of these ministers was the Barmaki. Barmaki. The Baramika. Baramika became very powerful at the time of Harun al-Rashid. They would become rich, wealthy, influential. One of those men, Baramika, by the name of Yahya, he became jealous of Ja'far, the one who raised Muhammad al-Amin. He thought to himself, if al-Amin becomes the Khalifa, He's close to Ja'far. So what is he going to do? He's going to give most of the power to Ja'far. And I will be left out of the equation. Okay. So we have to do something here to make Harun not like Ja'far. Okay. What can we do? He tried several things. They didn't work. So finally, to get closer to Harun, to tell him that I really care about your power, your Khilafah, he asked... He said, is there anyone from the children of Al-Hassan or Al-Hussein, Al-Alawi? Is there an Alawi who loves dunya? He loves money. Is there somebody? They told him, yes. Who? Ali ibn Ismail ibn al-Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam. Ali, the son of Ismail, the eldest son of Imam al-Sadiq. Ismail, that's what branched off the Ismailis, today Ismailis. Of course, Ismail was a mu'min, a muttaqi. We even do his ziyara in Baqi' when we go to Baqi'. He died during the time of Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam. His son Ali, Ali ibn Ismail, unfortunately, he had the love of dunya. Although he is the son of Imam, or the grandson of the Imam, he's a Sayyid, what we call today a Sayyid, subhanAllah. So Yahya, Yahya al-Barmaki, he invites this man, Ali ibn Ismail ibn al-Imam al-Sadiq. He goes to Mecca, he invites him, he speaks with him. He says, listen, I will pay you a lot of money, lots of money. If you go to Harun and you tell him that your uncle Musa has an interest in becoming the Khalifa. He wants to, become, he wants to take your position. And he's got influence, so he can do it. You do that, I'll give you lots of money. He agreed with him, unfortunately. So he went back to Medina. This Ali ibn Ismail packed up his bags and was about to leave to Baghdad. Imam al kazim calls him. He says, come here. He says, where do you want to go? He says, I have some business. He says, what do you need the business for? He says, I have debt. He said, I will pay your debt. What do you need? What else do you need? Uh, well, I, I need money. I'll give you money. What else do you need? Stay here. Don't go. He said, no, 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 I have to go. He says, don't go. He says, no. He insisted, and he got up. Before he leaves, Imam Salamullah Alayhi gave him 4,000 silver coins. Gave him a lot of money. So 4,000 silver coins at the time was a lot of money. Plus 200 golden coins. 200 gold coins, 4,000 silver coins. He said, take this. Khudha wala tutim awladi. He says, take it and don't make my children yatim, orphans. Take it. Take this money, but don't make my children orphans. Subhanallah. This man goes to Harun al Rashid as if he learns. Subhanallah. Imam al Kazim, after he left, he turned to his people who were sitting around him. He said, This man is going to be the reason for my arrest. But he will not enjoy it. Subhanallah. Because I hear from my fathers from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. When you make a connection to one of your relatives, but he severs that connection, you make an attempt, you pick up the phone to call him, 
Salamu alaykum, alaykum salam. Oh, why are you calling me? But he hangs up. For example, well, Iyadu Billah. You make an attempt to connect with your relative, but that relative severs that connection, then Allah will sever his life as well. You know, his life would be severed. He says, so his life is going to be severed now. I made a connection, I gave him money, but he severed his life. Anyways, he goes to Harun, he tells him, Harun, Salamu alaykum, alaykum as salam. He says, do you know that there is more than one Khalifa in this state? I said, what do you mean by that? He said, you know, my uncle, people come and they greet him as a Khalifa, as an Amir al Mu'mineen. He says, what do you mean? He says, you know, people bring him lots of money, khums money, lots of money. So my uncle is very rich, very wealthy. <coughs> when Harun hears this, <coughs> He thinks this is the nephew of the imam, but you know, this is a trustworthy resources, you know, source. So he gives him 200,000 dirham. He says, this is a gift. Well done. Thank you for letting me know. He says, okay. He says, I'm going to go rest at the place and bring the money to me. <clears throat> he goes into that place. He goes to the washroom. In the washroom, billah, his stomach falls out. Billah, falls out of his body. So he gets up from the washroom, goes to the bed. They come to him. He's in his final moments with the money. He said, we brought you the money. He said, what am I going to do with the money now? I'm losing my life. So they take the money back to Harun al-Rashi, subhanAllah. And he dies right there. He lost dunya and akhirah.